Do people sometimes bug the crap out of you? <laughs> Me too. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, the thing is that I've learned is that when people are bugging the crap out of me, it's because there's something in me that I'm in denial about. So I uh, hate to break it to you, but those people that are bugging the crap out of you are actually offering you opportunity to learn something about yourself. I know. It's kind of a pain in the ass to hear, isn't it? Uh, and it's also liberating and empowering. And this is a, a big passion of mine for a long while now, but increasingly lately, is personal responsibility is, is personal empowerment. So allowing other people to bug the crap out of us is just acting like we're not responsible for our own feelings, right? And if you, if you accept that you're responsible for your own feelings or the management of them, it's not like, you know, like you can help it that some, you know, every now and then you run into us a real a-hole that triggers you but my point is that that trigger when you find yourself emotionally triggered instead of just going like oh what an a-hole and walking away you find yourself thinking about it well uh, like carrying on with a little story that's a sign that you have an opportunity there. there's something in you that you are denying something that your ego is trying to skirt around something in your subconscious that's affecting your belief system that's getting in the way of you just enjoying the present moment right and this that little snag is like a little clue it's showing you oh um for example if you get triggered by you know somebody cutting you off in traffic is an example we like to use as kind of a benign like it's probably not a personal intimate relationship which gets stickier and tougher but it demonstrates similar you know uh similar strategies or theories, which is that if a person upsets you, if you find yourself like a person just cuts you off in traffic, probably they're in a hurry. They weren't paying attention. It's a lot of reasons that could happen. And most of the time that's not upsetting. But when we're feeling impatient, when we're feeling, uh, you know, upset already in a way that we're not, that we're not paying attention to, we can get triggered by somebody else cutting us off in a way that cascades these emotions that have really probably been just kind of waiting for some trigger like that to come along. So, um, you, you know, ideally you would actually appreciate that those feelings are being released and maybe think about where those feelings really coming from. Cause probably you don't know the person, probably there's no real personal or intimate connection and all the feelings you're having are really residual, you know, excess energy or, or based on untrue stories that you're telling yourself. So, it's getting hot in this car, so I'm going to get out and go walk the dogs. But I just wanted to leave you with that reminder as I've been uh, steeping in that myself this morning. Anytime someone else bristles your feathers, rubs you the wrong way, kind of bugs the crap out of you, that's an opportunity for you to learn something about yourself, for you to dissolve some kind of limiting belief that's in your way. I'd love to know if you have any thoughts about that and uh, put that in the comments. And if you would like to talk to me more in depth about that, I do offer coaching calls and uh, I also have some books out there and a course underway that should be done soon, probably by now. You might find that in the description. As always, I wish you love, lightheartedness, laughter, peaceful conflict resolution, productive confrontations. Don't forget to play every day.